In this video, we'll be working with multi-sample chops. A multi-sample chop in Touch Designer is represented by this graph, this line graph, uh, that denotes the, num the, the values over a specified number of samples. So um, if we were to middle mouse button here, we can see that this, uh, this graph is actually a thousand samples long, and you can see that in the x-axis here. Um, whereas this single sample chop down here is denoted by a bar graph that moves left to right. And if we middle mouse button here, we can see that it's only one sample long. So uh, in Touch Designer, this graph actually has some features to help us understand uh, what the samples are we are looking at. So a little bit of anatomy of this graph. We have the x-axis, which is the number of samples. Uh, contained in the graph, and the y-axis, which is the value of those samples. And it might be a little difficult to kind of pick out where the samples let, uh, uh, lie on the, uh, on the graph because this line is so continuous. So uh, what we might do is turn on a little helper. So if we make this viewer active and then right-click and hit this dot per sample checkbox, we can see these dots um, appear on the graph that denote where the samples uh, exist in uh, on the line. A good um, shortcut, hotkey, pro tip is the uh, that D is actually a good way of turning those on without going into that right-click menu. So um, these dots denote uh, the number of samples. So there will be about 50 of them across this entire graph. And we can see that there, this, the length of this graph is 50 by middle mouse buttoning here and seeing that there are 50 samples here. We go from zero to 49 indexes and I is the unit that Touch Designer uses to denote samples or indexes. Um, that time will take about 50 frames or 0.83 seconds. And um, that, that's denoted, uh, that's, that's kind of um, calculated by this sample rate here, uh, 60 samples per second. So Touch Designer is gonna do the calculation for you and give you the, the frames and the, and the uh, time, uh, which is really useful. So a little bit more about that here, we have two multi-sample chops. We have this pattern, um, and pattern allows you to uh, specify the length of the pattern in samples through this property length here. So if we were to increase this to 200, we'll see that our uh, graph changes. So the x-axis increases to 200, and if I middle mouse button, we can see that this is in fact uh, 200 samples long. Um, in the channel page, there's uh, the sample rate that you can change around if you want to uh, edit how many samples per second uh, go into this calculation. So if you need uh, a longer sample or a longer time or a shorter time, you can change that sample rate. But right now it's tied to the project's sample rate. So we'll keep that there for this one. Um, however, we might edit it here. So in constant, uh, we have this... Um, the ability to turn a constant chop into a single sample or a multi-sample chop using this uh, parameter here. Um, in the default uh, multi-sample chop is gonna be about 10 seconds long. So you can see that here we start at zero seconds and this drop down gives you a bunch of different options here for frames and samples. And it goes to end of 10 seconds. So if we middle mouse on this, we can see that we do in fact go from zero to 10 seconds and that takes about 600 samples um, that come from this 60 samples per second. So uh, if we change this, we could change this maybe to five, and this should cut our samples in half, which it did. You can see through the, uh, the x-axis that we're now looking at about 300, but also the middle mouse button shows 300 as well. Um, and Touch Designer does that calculation for you. So maybe maybe you didn't want necessarily to do it in seconds, but you, you knew that you needed about five seconds worth of samples. So now once you have that five seconds locked in, you can now change this over to the samples unit, uh, which is I, and then uh, you have that calculation for you, which is the uh, zero to 299 um, is going to be your uh, sample start and end range. And that should give you the same exact sample count um, and seconds uh, from before using that sample rate. 
So the last little bit to drive uh, home multi-samples is this example that I have here. Um, this is a multi-sample chop that uh, has 10 samples in it. Um, and what you're seeing here is an animation of a wave uh, in this um, uh, pattern. So uh, what it might look like is that a wave is moving out across this sample, but really what I want you to look at are the dots that move up and down because that's where the real numbers are. It's not, it's not a value that's moving across, it's a value that's moving up and down in this graph. And a good way of showing you this is to use the shuffle chop. The shuffle chop is a super useful chop that allows you to uh, build in uh, like uh, sequence or split um, multi-sample or single sample chops together. So um, in our case, we wanna split all of the different samples in this chop out. And now we have a single sample chop that uses the data from this multi-sample chop to break out into 10 different channels. So you can see that this is all a single sample here uh, where this is 10 samples and this is broken, broken out data as, as a, a, a different format of using it. Another way to look at this is um, as an array. So if you're familiar with programming terminology, an array is just a uh, collection of numbers in a, in a list. Um, so what we might do to look at that is use the chop to dat and then drag and drop the pattern onto the chop to dat. And we can see that we have a column of float numbers that correspond to the samples in this uh, pattern. So this was a little bit of working with multi-sample chops.